Hey y'all, it's your girl Diva. Today, yes, we in Car Chronicles once again, like we always do. We always gotta have that little one-on-one -on -one talk together, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much giving coach vibes. Yes, coach vibes. What, life coach vibes? Come in, let me coach you, baby. I'm here for you, honey. I know it's a lot of stuff that you need to be doing. Y'all need to be, and a lot of y'all guys need some vacation time. Y'all need to get away or just go into meditation, go into hiding. I'm just saying, y'all, connect with Mother Nature because I'm telling you, do you some good. Don't let nobody stop you from doing that. Look, I was looking at the verse of the day, though. I was looking at the verse of the day, and the verse says, listen, y'all, <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd, right? The Lord is my shepherd. Yes, he is. He's leading us. In every way, because you know the shepherd, he he gonna take care of his flock. He gonna make sure he got his flock where he need to go, where they need to go. Okay, I shall not want. Okay, so that means we ain't gotta want for nothing. Okay, everything here on this earth is for us. You can utilize whatever you got here on this earth to provide for the needs that you have. The other one says he makes me lie down in green pastures. We laying down in the grass now, huh? <laughs> He laid us down in the green pastures, y'all. I'm telling y'all, if he ain't talking about us being grounded and laying, us laying down and just relaxing and not tripping off every day-to-day -day stuff that happens, yeah, we got to worry We gotta worry and concern ourselves sometimes, you know, about little small stuff, but everything else, we give it to God. Y'all lay down in the green pastures and chill out. So that's why I said a lot of us need to get grounded. We need to get into, you know, into nature and just chill out and relax, okay? Just to be able to relax. He make us to do that. This is what we're supposed to be doing. Like, we, all this extra stuff we got going, they just put out in this world just to make us want and just, like, like want stuff that we don't even need. It says here, I shall not want. I shall not be in want, actually. Same thing. You know, you don't have to want for nothing. But listen, we ain't got to want for nothing, though. I'm telling you, but that's what's out here. But he make us to lie down the green pastures. We need to do that. This is some things that we need to do. We need to lay down and relax, just chill. You can just chill. Yes, chill out, okay? And then the other part of the verse says, He leads me beside quiet waters. The other version of the Bible says, He leads me beside the still waters. That's the still, calm water. We always talk about getting by a body of water just to relax and calm and just be, you know, by nature. A lot of people will bring nature into their home and have them a little fountain, you know, to make it sound like the calming waters basically because we need that that's the type of stuff we need around us to keep us you know at peace to keep us peaceful to keep us in a good mood so we can relax and just chill and not worry about nothing it says he restores my soul okay he restores my soul and so in doing all of this this is how you restore your soul a lot of people keep asking me like how do you get your gifts back how do you get your destiny back how do you get things back um that's how he re he will restore everything if you depend totally on him and trust in him on the things that he's doing and get out like i said get out in, in, in everything that he provided do you know that when jesus was here he basically he didn't want for nothing they they was by in the water fishing um they they were out in nature basically and it's just it was like they you they utilize sources of things that they didn't have to pay much for everything was provided I don't know when my kids were growing up when we were younger they was little babes you know we would be praying like lord we need some food we need this we need that sometimes you know it would be that when we were younger because the kids would eat so much you know and then so like get the praying and you asking god where is this gonna come from next minute somebody done bought you some food you ain't got to tell them nothing it's like the lord just provides or i had aunties that just would come through for me you know and and people that maybe didn't even know me that would just let me know look they doing this at the church let's go you know it just would be a provision simply because we trusted in him and that was all we had to lean on at that time like you know it's basically when you didn't have you like you you knew just to lean on him you you had no other choice yeah, so anyway, that's that's the that's the verse though. But let's get into this. Like, let's get into why we think we have to try to force things and see this is how people end up getting stressed out and uh you know your pain and, and heartache and how people become, you know, having heart attacks and having um anxiety attacks because of the worry and stress of today's world. I'm just gonna challenge you guys to take out some time for yourself and um 
you know, get lay down in the green pastures, you know, get into, you know, some, some nature, get into nature. I tell a lot of my clients, look, we need to ground ourselves. You're going to have to take our time to ground yourself, you know, and make sure you're meditating regardless. You meditate on God's word, but you got to find a place and a space to meditate. A lot of times it's cool. Like I know a lot of you guys stay by the beach or you stay by the water. It's a good thing to take your Bible out there. You know, you got the Bible on your phone these days. You can get the Bible. You know, you can get your hand with my Bible in. There you go. You can get your handy dandy Bible or you can get your phone Bible because either way it go, you're going to have your phone on you anyway. So just pull it up and it, it simply helps to calm you and uh, sitting still and being quiet. You know, sometimes we do allow the, the stresses of the day. Like I was just like really thanking God when I was pumping my gas yesterday. It was just that little small pumping the gas i'm sitting out there pumping well my son was pumping the gas and i was just standing outside with him and i'm looking at all the cars going by and it's just something that came over me like my mind was like look you could either choose to think about the bad stuff and magnify the bad things that's happening in your life or you could be choosing to thank god for the small things like being able to pump gas being able to go into the store and you know buy something to eat and get something to eat that's what i'm trying to tell you the lord will provide for you and he will actually make sure that everything you need, the source is there. That it's co it comes to you regardless. I'm going to read this part of the verse. This is uh, the thoughts on today's verse. It says, he restores my soul. It says, my, does that sound good? so good that it is more than talk. <laughs> it's more than talk. It's more than just talk. He restores your soul. Seriously. It says, when we reached that point that we cannot go on, God blesses us with strength to just keep on walking he does he he blesses us with that strength so sometimes we get to a point to where we be like bro you just be stressing over nothing like it's, it's it really don't be nothing y'all because y'all know anytime we stress it's something it's gonna be something but and sometimes you want to give up and you're like i'm done and then the next it's almost like you you lay down or you just sit down and get still and you're watching TV or something, or you're doing something on your phone, then it's just some getting you like, oh, I got to go do this. Like you get right back to doing what you said you was done with because he gives you the strength to keep walking. He gives you the strength to keep on going and pushing and thriving and like, baby, I'm not going to give up on this. You're not going to make me give up. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep thriving. Don't let nobody ever tell you how you need, how your relationship with the Lord need to be. I just want to throw that in there. Don't ever let anybody tell you how your relationship with the Lord should be. And I'm going to leave that there because I feel like a lot of people say, look, you, you shouldn't be doing this because you claim to be a child of God. Don't let nobody tell you how your relationship with God is supposed to be because y'all got that. If you got that understanding with the Lord and he knows what's up, you keep doing what you're doing, baby. He'll tell you how to what to do. Everybody can't do what you do. See, some people, they limit it because they live off rules. Just like the Pharisees, they all lived off the rules of what the Bible was telling them. It was like the, the word of the Lord says this. The word this, they kept calling it out, but Jesus was still out here doing some stuff that that was kind of that they would call it against what the word of the Lord said because Jesus had that one on one with the Lord for Himself. Man, come on now, don't let nobody try to tell you how to live and how to um have your conversations with the Lord with the, your relationship. That's just like allowing somebody to come in your relationship and tell you how to do this, how to talk to your man, how to walk with your man. How, should you hold a hand or if you shouldn't hold a hand? You girl, you got your own relationship with the Lord. You keep doing what you're doing, okay? Because ain't nobody got time to be listening to what other people saying how you need to be uh with the Lord. They probably ain't even close to him anyway. The only relationship they probably have is when they read the word and that's it. They don't even understand it. They don't have comprehension. They don't even comprehend what's going on with the word. See, because your relationship with the Lord is a little bit different from theirs and how you, you're connected to him, like I said, don't let nobody tell you how your relationship's supposed to be with the Lord. And a lot of people kind of looked at and judged your circumstance off of how, you know, you had kids too early or you had other responsibilities and they judged you off of that and decided not to really, you know, acknowledge you when you were young, you when you were doing this. Now you're older, they can that's all they can do. All they can do is acknowledge you. They see you standing behind that podium and talking. They see you doing your work. They see you listen. Okay, so we're just, I just, oh my God, <laughs> Lord, thank you, Jesus. 
Oh my God, look. Okay, so last night I actually had a dream and I had been trying to think of this dream all day because I did a couple of sessions with my clients and I was like trying to figure out if that dream was a part of any of my clients' uh, life. But I'm just not thinking of it. So obviously Spirit wanted me to tell you guys this. Um, My dream was I was at a church, right? And it was like um, they were showing pictures of me it was all these uh bulletin boards of like not bulletin boards but you know those little poster boards and it had like pictures of me when i was speaking when i was in church speaking when i was younger and they had pictures of me when i was uh singing and it had all these cute like pictures and they had it set up so pretty and on the other side i was standing at this podium and i was speaking um to the crowd i was speaking to everybody but they was i was like they was really kind of um celebrating me but i was actually speaking at the podium as well so it almost was like i was kind of preaching ministering and letting people know that the lord was good and how he did in my life so and it was like everybody was looking and they were acknowledging that they knew a lot of people didn't acknowledge it though some of them did not acknowledge it they just was looking like you they knew they knew so a lot of these people knew that i was called to do something greater to stand in front of a crowd to speak to to be there to help other people and um, it, I ended up seeing, you know, they started talking about my my uh, other, my kids, you know, and they were showing how a lot of them were called too and all of that. And I was just like, wow. And they were bragging on them and everything. And it was like, whoa, this is crazy. Like <laughs> I'm sitting here in my dream. So it basically in my, um for, for me, it, oh, it goes to show that like um, <laughs> some people may not want to acknowledge your gifts. Okay, they have not, these people have not been acknowledging your gifts. They have not acknowledged what you're supposed to be doing, but they have to now. Uh, you're being put in front of everybody and they're showing you off. I feel like a lot of you guys are coming into some greatness. I just realized too, it was a pastor in my, in my dreams too. I think he knew, like I said, it was people that knew, but they never acknowledged it. And he was the one that stood out to me more so that he was looking like, I knew you was called like that was the that was the whole thing he was he was just in it's like it's almost like I read his mind and it was like I knew you were called and I'm like I feel like crying right now but I'm not about to cry so um <laughs> the other part of the dream that was I used back back in the day when I was younger like I told you they were showing when I was younger too well the organist that we had when I was younger he was, you know, talking about my son, how he was talented and how he was proud of him and all of that stuff. And it was basically like, like I said, everybody was acknowledging, you know, my offspring and myself. And it was just amazing. And I'm so excited. So thankful for that message. So thankful for, for that dream. So like some of these individuals may have not acknowledged your gifts while you were younger or even recently but now spirit is showing now that they have no choice but to acknowledge you and to you know show you off to the world and i just want to encourage you to never never give up on your on your gifts never give up on your your talents your destiny and everything that you know that the lord has called you for never give up on it okay just keep pushing keep going and don't forget that you know the lord is leading you you know he's leading you because he is your shepherd don't give up okay all right peace love and light be sure to hit me up if you need anything from me everything is in the description bar below any sessions if you want to book a session with me that's down there in the description bar below too i am running a special so make sure you check me out okay peace love and light hey hey this is a public service announcement I wanted to let you guys know i am doing personal sessions with you guys and they're only 25 dollars for the month of march that's right for women's international month that's right i'm here to exclusively give you guys this special so be sure to send your cash out dollar sign diva tv or dollar sign tara diva and you can put in the fourth section put your number there and i'm gonna hit you up since they're full sessions together we're gonna connect one-on-one -on -one and it will be over the phone so make sure you hit me up